de-rigging the aircraft. He's just got the pod cover from the van. And I put my wing protectors on. I wish I had my good ones for the video. Yeah, but we still haven't been to the police to report the theft of his original prop covers by <laughs> Michael Percy, the designer of the aircraft. <laughs> And now, so we protect the propeller tips to prevent any wing damage if the sail touches the prop tips. So now he's putting the lift strut in the wrong way round. But she's been <laughs> Just testing. And putting the bottom pin in first, then the top pin, then the over centre. So the lift strut is there to help lift the wing up and down. Okay, now the next thing is the cradle pins. Yep, the cradle pins for holding it in the cradle. And if it was windy, I'd be turned into the wind. Yes, well the wind is absolutely zero at the moment. I release my seatbelt. Okay, seatbelt released. Pull my down to the pin. Put your pin out. Set her in the cradle. And it just falls down into the, to the cradle on the two sides. And sometimes the control bar has to be just forced to press down into the cradle because the lift strut is time to lift it up again. I secure my down tube pin. Oh, down tube pin around the control bar. Okay, have that. And then the last pin in the other side. Just there. Okay. It sits. Now I while well, my wing's still under tension, I take out. And I try not to let them spring back. I, I hold it. Okay, so, so it doesn't damage right here. Oh, yes, okay. Okay, so rather than just let it go clawing, yeah. I let it do it slowly. Yeah. Because it bells the end out, I can see there. I release the pressure on here. Yes. And just gently slide out my sprog. My uh, tip strut. Uh -huh. Wash out strut. Wash out strut. Release my sprog. And sprog. Then Make fold sure that in. Fold it in. Uh -huh. Undo my zipper. Come to the nose. It's going to take the nose cap off now. I'll come the same the side of the sun for the light. Nose ribs. Nose cap, nose ribs, and Secure the nose cap slid pocket in the leading edge. Yes. Uh-huh. Then off to the wing tip on the, the right hand wing. Again, release it. Take it out of its staying and gently let and it go back. That's it, let it so it doesn't See what happens snap when back. You, when it snaps you, back. Yes it bells the end out. Yes, I noticed that yeah. Yep. Release this. And the same thing take the pressure off the washout strut. Then the sprog. Undo my zipper. And I presume you'll take the camera off at the same time the camera mount. Camera off. And I will I'll give you a good uh, view of this here. Yes, the cap so I can see how yes how it's shaped to fit the Shape to fit the, the wing edge. strut, uh, the wing strut, isn't it? The leading yep. edge of the mm -hmm. wing strut, and then this is a GoPro mount, yes, and this is a regular camera mount. Uh -huh. I had a, just use an Allen screw, yes, to mount that. Looks pretty good. And that way, you can angle the camera just about any way you want. And that is a drift camera. Uh -huh. There, while I undo my okay, now he's uh, pinching right, pinch leaving the tube nice. ribs just there on the seat. He's now taking the tension off all of the battens. Okay, I got that side. While okay. I'm coming here, I get my wing tensioner. So you're going to take the... She's off tension now. Okay, the wing is now off tension. Okay, I can see. Thank you. And... Undo my other ribs while I'm walking down. The other ribs being undone while he's going down the wing. And I shut them back shut too. Take yep. them out, shut them back shut. 
Now it's off tension, so yes. it's okay to remove all my wings. Yeah, the ribs are coming out. Leave my two inboard ones in. Oh uh, yes, the two inner in, innermost ribs uh, batten stay in. Oh, that water is amazing. Yeah, I've, I've got that. Wow, yeah. I've got that on film. I might have to film that again. <laughs> yeah, that is fabulous, isn't it? It's almost right. becoming like a mirror now. Get my end ribs. Hold them all together. So got the end ribs which are left on the seat earlier, and everything together in the batten bag. Make sure they all get in there. Yes, don't and miss once anything. Once I get it to where my hand is, yep. slide it just all the way up. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Like the condom. All the way up. Then grab it here. Yep. Grab the top and just let go. And that'll fall in. Yep. And they all go in. Okay. And now I secure this in my van. Okay, it's going okay. to the van. I'll just. Before I fold the wing, that my towel is over my Oh, yes, so now he's putting a protector. Dave uses a towel around the hang block and it hangs down both sides. Okay, well I'm by myself. Come back here. And yes. I want to get around the back here. Yes. And I grab the wing fabric. I make sure my prop protector is around. Yes. I grab the fabric and pull the wing together. And you just pull the wing together. That is when you're on your own using the trailing edge of the of the sail. Yeah. And then I catch this strut with my hand, catch the other one in the back. Yes. Come up here. Lift the wing over, the fabric over the top of the wing, and pull gently. Okay. Until I have this triangle, and Tri I can yep. see that. That batten that there. Batten, and I start rolling down this line. Yes. Roll it up. And then just flip it into my leading edge. Flip this part over the middle. Yes. And then come and do the other side. Get back up here. Lift the fabric over. Again with the triangle. The triangle. Oh. Flip it in. He's got his I'm tube. Put a tube in here. Yeah, so you've got the tube to go in between those right, two tube meets the castings. Yep. And I take one of my Velcros. And do the it. tube in there that just holds the two cross tubes apart. And then he's holding it in with a, a Velcro. And Dave's holding it in with a Velcro. Oh, if and I, uh, do it he's, properly. He's just testing the strength of the Velcro now. I want to roll my wing up. There we go. That's proper. While I'm here, I undo another one and do my prop. Behind the are some engine supports. I wrap one leg around and secure it to itself. And the other one across the Let's front. Let's see. Yep. Okay. That can't spin. I have my muffler, my air filter cover. Oh yeah, air filter covers. Slip one on, push it, throw mm -hmm. the other one over the other side for later. Undo this here. Go from my mast to the wing strut. Wing strut. I don't make it super tight because I want to. I want it equal. Oh yes, yeah, because okay. you want. Yeah, yes, I understand. Now this, now here, I get a little pressure on this one. And struts are nice and tight. Yes, no rocking side to side. The other air filter cover on. Air filter cover. Okay. I put my nose wing on, bag, no. nose bag on. Starting at the front. Okay, so the bag, wing bag on at the front, and you roll it back down roll the wing. Roll it a little until I can do the zipper, get access to it.
Make sure the zipper part is all the way inserted. Yes. And then I pull this back a little. If I have to squeeze this while I pull. Yes. Makes it easier. A cord on here helps this too. Yes, to pull. Get it all the way back. I secure it to my down tube with just a couple squares, a couple knots. So it won't come undone. Yes. And I tuck my towel, undo a little more wing bags, and tuck my towel up in there so, and yep. velcro it. And roll some more. in as I go. Tuck the wingtip fabric in. I have a bungee. But when I'm traveling I don't want the velcro to come undone. Yes. Put a velcro, a bungee or two around here. Yes, to, helps yeah. Help, helps hold it, yeah. Yep. And then one in my zipper. A bit of same for us in Thailand, we'll need to if we're going to be traveling like that. And then this is my camera cord. I just usually tuck it somewhere. It's somewhere inside it so it doesn't flap. Under that leading edge should do. Alright, now I can take my prop protectors off. And make sure all my power is off. Yes. Dash. Pull my key. Secure it. Key out. And panel power off. Throw my working from this side always. Pod cover always from the side without the landing gear control mechanism. Zipper, make sure my zipper is seated all the way. Yeah, seat the zipper in. Zip it down. And then not forgetting there's a strap under the keel that secures. That's it. And to secure all my uh that is gear. finished and and now taking everything out of the seats. I buckle my seat belts if I'm not going to be taking. If it's going to rain, I take them out. Okay. If not, I just seat belt them in. Okay. So seat belt done up round both seats. And I'm going to make two trips here. Okay. And then it, it's getting the aircraft onto the onto the trailer. It's taken about 15 minutes. So Dave's now running the winch out on the trailer. Leave room for my tyre. Yes, so it doesn't bring it right to the back of the wheel trough to leave space to put the nose wheel on. And now, and always with the trike, need to be careful when having to push backwards, making sure that the rear undercarriage doesn't unlatch and fold down, because then apparently it's hours of fun <laughs> to get it back up again. <laughs> Okay, go. I'll walk forward. Walk forward, yep. I have a long way to go. And then bringing the trike to the trailer, making sure as far as you can that the rear wheels are lined up with the wheel ramps. And 
uh, no, you need to come a little bit more away from the sea. And not quite lined up there. Hit us straight now. But um, because Dave has these wings on the end of the wheel ramps, that normally, even if it's not perfectly aligned, will straighten itself out. So we'll film as it goes up. He's hooked to the front undercarriage. Front undercarriage is hooked just in here. And yep, that's lined up. And bringing the nose wheel right up until it's contacted the. And it's almost tried to climb out there, but it uh, looks to be okay. And those wings. Are those wings on the ramp standard or not? Because that's an excellent idea, so I'll have to ask, I don't know if Mike can put those on for me. I also like these little screw down knobs instead of the pins that come with yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I've lost fewer of them. Sabadee Cup. Sab